That was Palm Boulevard performed live right here at the Adobe Studio by Jake Miller, and I'm very stoked to have him live in studio with me. What's up, man? Dude, it's been so long we've been trying to make it happen and it finally happened. I know. I remember doing a phone interview with you like a year ago. I was in Florida. Yeah. And uh, But I've known you forever, dude. You're like family. Aw. Jake is a boy. Jake has a brand new EP that's out now. It's called Based on a True Story, and it featured my favorite song by him, uh, Wait for You, which yes. is making its way to every single radio station station everywhere not just here on adobe radio it's everywhere yes youtube i'm looking at you mm -hmm. i got this on video too because we're two great looking dudes but um yeah so now my new favorite jake miller song skinny dip the opening track you like that <laughs> i love that thank song you, man. thank you that's like a really cool like nostalgic track for me i think you know that's just about you know reminiscing on the good old days when you were like 15 and you know you didn't have a worry in the world and you were just you know out there skinny dipping with your girl in the moonlight and um, yeah, it's a really cool song. I think we were talking about it earlier. It kind of feels like a country song. Yeah. So, yeah. And the thing I love about um, you and your music is over the years, you become more and more DIY while producing it. And yeah. now it's basically just you writing and producing and recording in your bedroom, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, I do it all in my bedroom. Um, you know, every now and then I'll have like a friend come in, like, wait for you. I wrote with my friend Charlie. Um, Skinny Dip, I did that one 100% by myself. I wrote and produced it in my bedroom, and it's all done in my bedroom, all these songs. So every now and then I'll have a friend come over to help, but, you know, it's it's really just uh, it's so freeing to not have that pressure of going into, like, these big million-dollar studios and paying an hourly rate and having all these, you know, really high-profile writers and producers come in. And it's just too much pressure like that. You know, making music is not homework. It's, you know, it's, it's something that you got to do when you feel inspired. And so... Having it be in my bedroom is just like the best environment to make music. Oh, 100%. And over the years, I've liked your songs more and more. I don't Thanks, know man. if it has Thank to you. do with like how how much bet not uh, you know what I'm going to say. I think it's just because like since since there's nobody telling me what to do, I'm putting my like 100% of me into these songs. Mm -hmm. And when I connect with a the song, then the rest of the world will just because, you know, sincerity is that's what connects with people and so you know skinny dip is a very real song for me like that's i can listen to that and like cry because like i really meant that when i wrote it and like it's just like um that's what music is supposed to do it's supposed to bring out your emotions and so it clearly connected with you too and so yeah definitely and um not only is there a track called skinny dip there's a track called wait for you there's yeah. a track called nike's mm -hmm. and there's two other tracks which names three other three other three other three others that escape me right now but they're <laughs> all really good as well thanks man appreciate yeah. it we got a we got wait for you nike skinny dip london lights nobody else and what if you fell in love and they're all completely different vibes some are some upbeat bruno mars saxophone vibes and then um, what if you fell in love is like the saddest song I've ever written. So, um, they're all just very different and it's an EP that's for everybody, something for everybody. Exactly. And, uh, also the thing I like about it is that you've been around for a minute now. It's been like yeah. since 2011. -ish? I graduated high school in 2011. That's probably when I put out like my first song on MySpace. Yeah. But like I hadn't, you know, really started doing this professionally until probably 2013. Definitely. And your, your music has always been Jake Miller, mm -hmm. but it's always progressed with the times. Nothing ever seems dated. You're always on top of it, which Thanks, I love and adore about it. Thank you so much. I mean, that's that's what it's all about. I mean, I think the only way to win as an artist is to balance between what you love and what kind of music you love making and what connects with you and balance that with what's popular now. And so, you know, I listen to so many different artists and I do so much res research and I just, um, you know, I know what's hot right now. And mm -hmm. so... I take little elements of different things that I see and I put it into my own music, but I don't want to lose that Jake Millerness. And so, um, so yeah. Yeah. And I just remember hearing your name around uh, on Long Island. I'll just use Long Island as an example. You played uh, Revolution or Ollie's Point. I don't yeah. know what it was called at the time. It's like, who the fuck is this dude? And why is this show sold out? <laughs> then next thing I know, sold out Paramount, like a month later, yeah. you headlining. It was like just it obviously wasn't overnight, but it was a very quick like yeah. climb to the top for you, which is awesome. And you've stayed consistent throughout all the years. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's all about just kind of slow, steady pace. I'm, I'm not trying to be that cannonball effect where you, you know, rise overnight and have a hit song and then drop just as quickly. I want to, you know, establish that really great fan base, which I've done, and just kind of, you know, day by day, just make sure everything is getting bigger and bigger, slowly and steady. And um, that's that's how you win long run. That's That's longevity. And so, yeah, I mean, it definitely was not overnight. Yeah. Even if you discovered me last night, I want you, you know, to know I've been doing this for seven, eight years now, and I have hundreds and hundreds of songs out, like literally. I could play a show for like four or five hours straight. <laughs> so Do if you're it. just Do now it. discovering me off this interview right now, 
I have literally like 300 songs out. Go listen to them. <laughs> After this, everyone has to listen to all 300 songs all 300. and report back. Yes. And listen to them in chronological order. Yes, exactly. And then alphabetical. <laughs> and then say it backwards. And then shuffle them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice. So um, you're gearing up for a tour. Yeah. And it's going all over the U.S. Yes. And so talk about that a little bit. 21 Cities is called the Way For You Tour. I'm bringing my homie Logan Henderson, who's also a label mate and just a good friend. And um, yeah, man, just so excited to get back on the road and be performing this new music. I think uh, obviously seeing the fans and being face to face with the people that support me day in and day out, that's like the most important thing. But to me, just being on stage and performing the music that, you know, I just recently made and like that's everything to me. I love making music. I love performing it. I love seeing how it connects with the people in real life. And so I'm, I'm really, really excited to get back on the road. Definitely. And also something that really stands out about you, just like kind of personal stuff, it's mm -hmm. like Obviously, you've been doing this 2013. Move out to LA. Yeah, you're pop pop artist. Everything's incredible. You're conquering it. Thanks. Wait for you's just climbing the charts everywhere. I never see you out. I don't really go out. <laughs> no, I don't really go out. No, I've you seen definitely you don't. You've seen me like twice once or twice over yeah. the last three years. No, I mean when I first moved to LA, I went out a lot, like yeah. a lot, a lot, like three times a week. Clubs, Warwick, you know, uh, <laughs> Bootsy Bellows, Blonde Dragon, all that shit. And um, I don't know, man. It just slowed me down. And I'm in a different. I'm in a different space these days. I'm really healthy. I'm eating really well. I'm trying not to eat bread and pasta. And I'm working out every day. And you know, going out. I can't go out without drinking and without having a drink in my hand. And when I get drunk, that means I'm going to fast food later. And it just doesn't end well. And the next day, I don't. I wake up feeling like shit, as you know. And I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to make music. I don't want to work out. And so I don't really go out that much. But. I stay busy. You do. You're always busy, always doing something. Yeah, I definitely stay busy. I'm always on the road these days. And when I'm not, I live in a house where my studio is in my room and all my roommates are my, my video directors. So we're literally in-house. Like we do everything in-house. Legitimately in-house. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just a very creative you know, place. And so we don't really need to go out. We don't need to find inspiration by doing that. Obviously, it's a fun time to go out every now and then, but it slows me down, man. <laughs> it makes me feel like shit. Yeah, and then occasionally when you go out, maybe I'll just like happen to play a Jake Miller song at the. You did that. Yeah. You did that last time. At, yeah, at um on the rocks. Yeah, I was just like vibing, drinking, talking to somebody, and I just hear my music. I'm like, oh, that's definitely fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, um, that out in Calabasas. She yeah, made... that's uh the girl that's underneath. Yes, that one. That Dude, was on the last such album. a banger. Thank you, man. Appreciate uh, it. Walter actually posted a status about being in Calabasas, so naturally I had to oh, comment wow. on it. Say, that's too funny. <laughs> out in Calabasas, Walter that's... is a badass. Oh my god, he loved it. Amazing. Yeah, Amazing. but I want to use this time to give a very special shout out to your drummer, Kevin. Yes, Kevin. I love Kevin and Death. My whole band, Kevin, Walt, my bass player, my manager, Scott, best dudes in the world. They're the reasons that you know I, I don't feel like I need to go out and do all this crazy shit and do drugs. Like I'm just very fulfilled with my friends and my family. So um, shout out to them. Yeah. Jake has one of the best teams and one of my favorite teams out there. Thanks, man. And also something very admirable about you is obviously um, you're on Sony Red for this release. Yeah. And um, I don't remember the deal you had um, with Century Media Group for the last one. That was uh, or two, Empire. 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 Yeah. Empire. Yeah. And, um, but a lot of it, like you're just like bouncing around between DIY and then label stuff and yeah. then just like, the hardest working dude out there. Yeah, thank you, man. I mean, I've seen it all. You know, I started at E1, which is an independent label. Um, then I went to Warner Brothers, which is a very major label, and they took all my creative freedom, and I was pretty much just a puppet. Then I was independent for like a year and a half, which I had nobody. I mean, nobody. Then Empire came along and signed me, and that was a very independent deal. They were pretty much just funding it, but they didn't have any say in the creative. And then now I'm signed with Sony Red, and Sony Red is kind of like the combination of everything. They're letting me make my own music. They're letting me feel independent, but they're giving me the resources of Sony. And um, I have like a you know a fifty person team over there. I have people around the whole country working at Sony who, you know, are regional reps. And um, it's just it's really cool, man. I I really feel so much love over at Sony Red. I feel like a priority for like the first time ever at a record label. So really really excited to be working with them. Hell yeah! And with an EP like this. Damn, it's fire. Thank you, man. Yeah, the I, music I, speaks I hope, for itself. I hope I delivered my best music yet. I think I did. And um, it just feels like a very pivotal part of my life right now because I do feel pressure to deliver the best content that I've ever cre created, you know, videos, artwork, songs, just because now I have everything in position to help me win. I have, mm -hmm. like, that the perfect record deal situation. Um, so I need to, you know, do my part and deliver the best music I can, and I think I've done that. Hell yeah, going from silver lining into this, 
doesn't get much better. Thanks, man. And I know the next release is going to be the much better part oh, or it, even better part. It's, it's always going to get better. That's, yeah. you know, when, when you're degressing, when you're, you know, putting out stuff that's not as good as what you used to do, that's, that's a big red flag. You always have to get better. You always have to learn. You always have to become a, a better version of you, a better producer, a better songwriter, whatever you do. Practice, 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 and you'll always get better. And I wake up and I go straight to the piano every day. Damn. Every day. I I, I've never even played piano until like a year and a half ago. Okay, I was going to ask that because I do not remember you ever playing piano until recently. I never did. <laughs> I just, I've spent a million hours on YouTube and tutorials and same with producing. I didn't know anything about producing until about two years ago. I had friends come over and give me plugins and sounds and help me and tutorials. And that's what it's all about, just learning and getting better. Because at the end of the day, it's like, you know, this is, this is all I have. This, mm -hmm. is, this is the only thing I care about. It's the only thing I'm passionate about. If it doesn't work out... I'm doing nothing. I'm going to be homeless. So <laughs> I'm, I, it has to work, you know? I would it, be it homeless, studio list. Yeah. Not how... Oh, passionless. Not in, yeah, passionless. Yeah, it's not a, it's, that's not a good look. So this has got to work. I've never, I've never in my life thought of a backup plan. I feel like if you're in this industry and you have a backup plan, you've already lost. Because mm -hmm. if you're crazy enough to do something like this, you have to go full force with it. You cannot look back. You can't have a plan B or else you're just like subliminally telling the universe... Oh, I'm scared. I might not make it. Like, you just got to go full force and balls to the wall and not care what anybody says. Just know that you're going to make it. Hell yeah. And also the positivity behind uh, the last two release titles, Silver Lining. And uh, it's a line of song. There's always a silver lining, correct? Yeah. Uh, be all right. Be all right be is what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I remember I posted that as a caption on Instagram. I happened to be at your house for the release party. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, and you had the nice mood aesthetic lights in your yeah. backyard. Love Probably. those. Sounds like me. And the AstroTurf. I have a lot of lights. <laughs> and the AstroTurf, yeah. Yeah. So I'll be back in your backyard for uh, yes. <laughs> celebrating. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> when Wait For You hits number one, like in 25 minutes, yeah. I'll be back we'll in your backyard a... it, underneath that tree. <laughs> Perfect. I remember that actually now. Yeah. What are you saying? That we're all sitting underneath the tree in the backyard. Wow, yeah. it seems like a long time ago. Yeah. Damn. It's one release, one record cycle ago. Yeah, but it was like a year ago. It seems yeah. like a long time ago, though. When you do what we do and you're traveling so much and there's so much just stuff being throwing at you and so much thing so many things happen like i feel like a year feels like three years <laughs> yeah exactly i like i don't remember high school at all like <laughs> i don't remember it and it wasn't that long ago and um i don't know what it is something about this industry it just makes your brain a little bit more like crowded <laughs> yeah very crowded <laughs> yeah. like no no vacancy up no, here like we gotta not. get a no vacancy <laughs> always thinking you're always thinking <laughs> for sure and also, uh, something really cool you did, you got to do a birthday show in New York City at Highline Ballroom yeah. with The Stolen, yeah. sold out show, and dude, you had a choir for Wait For You, Yeah. and I was lucky enough, I got to um, see you during soundcheck, because I'm an awful friend and didn't go to the actual show, I went to the Christmas <laughs> okay. tree lighting. You were busy, you were busy. And I'm, I'm heartbroken. Guys, this is a real sad face. I was sad. But I did watch every second of soundcheck. <laughs> you did. And just, Soundcheck sounded good. Dude, it sounded incredible. Like having that uh, choir with you, doing yeah. it for you. Now you're gonna br you're taking like a thirty piece choir on the road with you, right? Oh, I wish, yeah. <laughs> Just getting like three more tour buses. Love um, that. No, I'm not. I'm not bringing any of the choir on tour. I wish, but they'll definitely be at the New York City show because they live there. But um, yeah, man, they they make everything sound great. So yeah, yeah. If it was up to me, I would just have them everywhere I go, <laughs> even like when I'm talking in interviews. <laughs> Just like harmonizing my words while I'm talking. <laughs> yeah. And then they would be in the back, while I'm talking. Yeah, exactly. Except like better. Exactly. <laughs> so I don't want to sing anymore. I want to hear you play Wait For You. Let's do it. Because I absolutely adore the song. It's Thank incredible. You. The message behind it's awesome as well. Thanks, man. So um, I didn't really ask any like meaning behind the songs besides a skinny dip because yeah. I, like, I like people letting them think what it is about. Yeah, I think that's the beauty of music. Just kind of, you know, a lot of people say, what's this about? Is this about this person? It's like, Sometimes you just write a, a beautiful song. It doesn't have to be about something or a, an event or a person. It might seem like it is because, you know, I'm drawing from experiences, but mm -hmm. it's just a song. It's just a, it's just a nice song. And this so Wait For You is just about, you know, waiting for somebody that you love to come around and come to their senses. And, you know, maybe they're going through something at the moment and their, their head's not right to be in a relationship or whatever. And so you'll wait for them and you'll be there waiting on the other side when they're ready. Awesome. Without further ado, here it is. Here's Jake Miller performing Wait For You live right here at the Adobe studio. Be on the lookout for him on tour with Logan Henderson for the Wait For You tour and pick up his new EP based on a true story.